Classic Car TV. Hi everyone, welcome to Haggerty Classic Car TV. I'm Jamie Lamont and this week we have a great show for you. Recently Rob Sass and Jonathan Klinger traveled to Irvine, California to tour the Mercedes-Benz Classic Center. Now along with their state-of-the-art restoration facility and amazing showroom, the highlight of this trip was a ride along in a Mercedes-Benz 600, a car built for royalty, celebrities, and an occasional dictator. But before that, have you been thinking about having your car rechromed? I know I have. Our Resident Mechanic Randy has a few tips and tricks that could save you some time and some headaches. Hi, my name is Randy. Um, I'm here today with Haggerty Classic Car TV. And today we're going to talk about some different steps in uh, preparing chrome trim before we send it out to be replated. A couple of very important things to remember when removing chrome trim from the car is never pry or pound on any trim because we have to reuse it again. So we're gonna to have to look in from the back side of the metal to see how it's attached. Usually it's attached by little teeny nuts that screw onto studs or little teeny screws that actually screw into little holes in the back. So we have to remove all those screws before the trim can actually be removed from the car. Sometimes it will be glued, sometimes it will have um, sticky tape on the back side. So in that case you have to be very very careful like with a wide putty knife or something that's non-damaging to the car. Selecting a plater. In my experience what I've found is that all platers are not created equal. Each, each plater will specialize in different types of metal, different types of, of quality of metal. Um, one of the things that I've found is that you can actually get two or three different types of chrome quality from a plater. You want to definitely match the chrome quality of plating to the, to the age and era of the car. You don't want to overplate the chrome because it'll be way too shiny and it just won't look right. Um, like with this particular metal, this is a pot metal. Some of the chrome platers won't even touch this metal because you have to heat the chrome to remove it and you can actually destroy or ruin the, the, the metal underneath. So you have to do your homework and make sure that the chrome plater is capable of doing the type of metal that you're working with. So we've done our homework. We've found the plater that we want to use. Now what we're going to do is we've removed all the trim from the car. We've removed all the hardware from the trim. We do not want to send anything to the plater that doesn't need to go. Next, we're going to picture and document every component and every piece so that if, if for some reason or some chance the piece gets lost, we have a picture at least of what we're looking for to replace it with. Next, we're going to individually wrap and package each piece with bubble wrap and protect it. And then we will package it all up into a box and ship it out. All right, Mike, I know a little bit about these cars. Obviously, a, a Mercedes-Benz 600, and I know sort of about the clientele who bought these cars when they were new, you know, heads of state and, and people like John Lennon. But that's about really the extent of my knowledge with 600s. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Well, they were called representative class cars for us. So this is in ways the successor to the Adenauer, so a very uh, large car, luxurious car that was used for government use, uh, heads of business, heads of state. I feel like you should have like a white, long-haired cat. <laughs> On the road, what's it like? It's a big, stately car. Yeah, you know, in a way, it has a bit of an American car feel to it. It has a lot of power. It's a large car. It likes traveling at speed, so it's very comfortable going about 90 miles an hour. Uh, it's like a locomotive. It drives quite well. Even on back roads, handling is quite well. It's an air suspension car. You'd be amazed. It doesn't really feel like its size necessarily, and it's a lot of fun to drive. All right, so we're talking to uh, Jonathan Klinger, who is the uh, chauffeur today, through the uh, the microphone, the intercom on the car. He's got the divider up. So, uh, Jonathan, what's this thing like to drive? Well, I can tell you that uh, I think the ownership experience in a car like this is more about the passenger than the driver because it's actually quite cramped up here with the division window. Um, that being said... Nice and spacious back here. It's a very heavy car, but man does it have power. You can tell there's a lot of power under the hood uh, to, to compensate for, for all the amenities and the weight and the, the, the uh, steel plate protected it has underneath. And it just runs really smooth. Yeah, I know. I'm really glad we've got this full steel plating. You never know when you're going to run into a roadside bomb here in uh, Orange County. That's exactly right. Um, this vehicle definitely was uh, at home of royalty and people who wanted to be protected. 
more complicated than the 6.3 in the fact that it has the hydraulic, what they call comfort hydraulic. Mm -hmm. So all of the uh, controls that you would typically find in a luxury car that are done electrically are done hydraulically on this car. You could control the radio from the back. So I, I'm turning that radio on, the front radio on. And then you have a horn on this that's absolutely incredible. It, it really is there to tell people you have arrived. Get out of the way. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> that is, without a doubt, the best horn. And it's a two tone horn. It's actually it's a dual tone horn, so it has a softer version. <laughs> Well, that's it for this week's episode of Haggerty Classic Car TV. Make sure you log on to Haggerty.com slash Classic Car TV for upcoming episodes and leave your comments below. See you all next week. Here are some upcoming events coming to Florida. The 6th annual Boca Raton Concord d'Elegance will be from February 24th through February 26th. Later, the Amelia Island Concord d'Elegance will be from March 8th through March 11th. For more information, log on to www.haggerty.com slash Florida.